welcome to my channel so i am back with the cleaning videos this week i am going to show you me cleaning my kitchen this is what i do every single week in my kitchen to clean it this particular day i did also clean everywhere else in my house but i just didn't film it all because it would take me ages to film and clean my whole house and when you've got a newborn baby you don't have time for that i am going to include like a little bonnie baby update in every single video just to kind of like show her progress week by week since my last video which was probably two three weeks ago that i posted about her she must have grown loads so she's just over 10 pounds now but i will include an update about her after the cleaning segment so every single Tuesday at the minute whilst I'm on maternity leave, I give my house a thorough clean. Well, I say thorough. I just do the bare minimum in my eyes as to what I should do. Also, whilst I'm filming this voiceover, if you can hear little tiny hiccups, it's because I'm holding my baby as I'm filming this voiceover and she's got hiccups. So I do apologise for that, but I've got to do what we've got to do. But basically in the kitchen, I kind of replace all the tea towels and like things for washing up, like the sponge. And I empty all the bins and everything. It's surprising how fast that bin fills up. It's actually like annoying because I hate emptying the bin. Like it literally is my worst job. But it's got to be done, especially when you've got a baby and you just get through so much more stuff than normal. I'm going to try and post one of these videos every single week. I know I haven't posted for a little while, but it's because obviously I've been bringing up Bonnie for the last, I don't know, five weeks or whatever it's been. And I feel like I have the time to do it now. I have a little routine every single day of things that I do with her and stuff that I do for myself and cleaning and everything. So for me, just the thought of filming and cleaning at the same time and then editing the video was a little bit stressful just to kind of think of all that but having Bonnie and bringing her up so far has been quite easy for me I haven't found it like really stressful and difficult yet which I'm expecting that to come but I think for me what I will find stressful is if she starts uncontrollably crying about something that I don't know what it's about like if I don't know what she's crying about I will find that really stressful but so far every time she cries there's always something that I can figure out you know what's wrong so it's so far so good um she's just sat here watching the video as I do this voiceover which is kind of cute um but yeah I'm also just cleaning the surfaces in the kitchen as well because I just feel like they get so dusty and just dirty just so quickly like it's only been a week and it just looks, you know, a little bit disgusting on some surfaces. Maybe not this one, but the one near the sink, definitely. Um, but yeah, just disinfecting all of those. And things like the toaster and the microwave and things that I use every single week. It's just a quick wipe. It's not a proper clean. These things will get properly cleaned another time, but every week just a quick clean can you see how much dust has collected on that microwave like that is a week's worth of dust and i just find that crazy like what is that dust and where does it come from i do not understand <laughs>
So for me, cleaning the sink is something that I have to do every single week because this is what does get the messiest. Obviously, I'm washing up every single day. In fact, I wash up twice a day and it just gets like food stuck in it and things like that. Recently, my dad did clear out, like, clear out the sink, like, you know, in the system, like down in the tubes um i'm not really sure what i'm on about but like all the gunk and stuff that was in there was built up from years like i've only had my house for a year and that was oh hang on a minute i've had it for like a year and a half but anyway oh no i haven't hang on what month are we in october i bought my house in august last year okay somebody else can figure out how long i've had my house for but yeah it was built up quite badly so that's something that you have to look out for because it will just collect up and then you'll end up with water just not being able to kind of like empty down the sink and it will just overflow um so that's something that you don't really think about but the sink is all clean now so i was happy about that now it was time to hoover and mop the floor which i don't mind doing i find it quite satisfying hoovering like it's not something i hate to do Somebody actually commented on one of my other videos saying that I had attached the Henry Hoover pipe thing the wrong way round. And yes, you are correct. My boyfriend was like, what the hell are you doing, Georgie? You're hoovering the wrong way round. And I was like, oh, I didn't realise. So thank you to that person. Uh, it's now fixed. I do love my Henry Hoover. I do find it difficult to hoover on carpets, though. Like, that's a bit weird. I don't know why. I just find it hard to push the hoover. But I don't really mind because if you pull it on the carpet, it's fine. Um, another thing that I am going to be trying to do over the next kind of like few weeks is to eat healthier. Obviously, when you have a baby and you're just pregnant in general, you know, you can gain some weight. And I definitely have gained weight like 100 percent. I am probably three stone or two stone heavier than I was before I gave birth. Uh, sorry, before I was pregnant. So I definitely want to lose a bit of weight. But I have already started on my workouts. So I've been eating less food in the past when I've lost weight before I have you know calorie counted and for me that's quite a stressful thing that's something that does occupy a lot of like my mental capacity and it takes up a lot of time because you're thinking about food weighing things out counting your calories all day long and it can become a bit too much so for me what I want to do is try and not have to count my calories so I just want to eat less food and see how that goes but in the past when I've tried to do that I found it quite difficult because you just think oh I'll be all right I'll have this or I'll have that when actually you need to just try and calm it down a little bit basically but I'll keep you posted on how it goes I've been doing three workouts a day which are at home like YouTube workouts and I love my workouts like that's something that I will always do is do my workouts like I don't struggle for motivation with that it's just kind of like food and things like that especially like after I've eaten a meal I always feel like I need something sweet so I think it's kind of just like selecting sweet things that aren't hugely calorific but I'm not putting too much pressure on myself because obviously I have had a baby and you know your body does change but it doesn't mean to say that you know I can't lose a bit of weight and that is what I'm planning to do so after I've just been rambling I'm just spraying the room with some air freshener um clearing up after hoovering and mopping the floor done the washing up and I'm just going to wipe down the sides I wipe down the surfaces of my kitchen twice a day this is something that I just have to do because I enjoy it I don't know what it is it's just satisfying and also there's always bits everywhere as well but yeah this is pretty much coming to the end of what I'm cleaning thank you for watching this I am going to show you a little baby update as to how Bonnie's doing but this is the after I had to use Jamie's phone to film these last two clips because my phone ran out of storage so the quality is terrible his phone is awful so Bonnie my newborn baby is now four weeks old as I'm filming this clip in fact she's four weeks and a half she is currently in the crib she wants milk she's about to cry I can just tell but she's doing really, really well and she is at over 10 pounds now. She's been having a lot of milk. She's growing just fine. And yeah, she's been really good for night times. Like she wakes up like a normal amount. She's not like excessively waking me up or anything. Touch wood so far. Um, yeah, she's perfect. So I'll just show you her now. So she's just in her crib now. So she's just in her crib now. This is what she looks like at four and a half weeks old 
and yeah she's just chilling she's gone quiet because she knows i'm filming and she can hear my voice and she thinks well she doesn't know i'm filming but you know what i mean she can hear my voice so she thinks oh i'm getting milk now um so no she's gonna get fed in five minutes when jamie gets home because he can feed her when he gets home um but yeah here she is hello bunny hello there but I thought I would just quickly share some of the best purchases that I made for her before she was born that I didn't realise like how much I would use these things. So first of all, it's this changing table. This has literally been a lifesaver. It means that when I first gave birth, I didn't have to like kneel on the floor because when I'd first given birth, it was difficult for me to like bend over and just basically do anything. So this was really, really handy. It was from Amazon and it's got like pockets to put nappies and things in and wipes, etc. But it just makes it really easy and it doesn't hurt your back to use it. The second really great purchase that I made was this dummy. I wasn't like necessarily like gonna use the dummy with her that much but basically sometimes she just won't settle down and she's had milk she's had a nappy changed and she's got snot removed from her nose because that happens um so this really settles her down and it's just like a comforting thing but I, it's not something that i will continue with her for like years and years obviously um but for now it's helping me so anything that helps me i'm using third thing is this swing this is literally like the cutest little thing she will grow out of it soon but it does you can turn it on and it does swing by itself and it has music to it as well and also little bird noises but sometimes i just sit her in there and put some put something on the tv for her to watch i do actually I do actually find that kids TV does actually settle her. I didn't think like she would know what's going on, but she actually does. Well, she doesn't know what's going on on the TV, but she can hear like the music playing of like the baby TV and she just sits there like kind of like listening in. Um, but, or maybe that's just it by head, but yeah, it settles her down. This is probably one of the best things that I bought her. This is the <laughs> snot sucker. I'm not sure how much this was, but it was from Amazon. And basically, you pop in some saline solution. I got this from my local pharmacy. And it basically makes all the snot in her nose, like, really runny. And then you use this, and it kind of looks like this, and you just suck the snot out of her nose. I know it sounds gross, but she does, like, babies won't, can't blow their own noses. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes she's playing up because the snot's in her nose and she's struggling to kind of, like, breathe through it properly. And when we've used that, absolutely fine. Honestly, it works really, really well. I couldn't recommend that enough. That is everything for this video. Thank you for watching. And I hopefully will see you next week where I will be cleaning a different room in my house and I will give you another Bonnie update.